morning, everybody. Brad here again. Thanks for uh, all the comments from last episode. Had a lot of people talk about um, the interest that they were getting out of traction. We got more coming with that. We actually are starting some level 10 meetings as of tomorrow and next week, so we're really excited about that. Certainly going to tell you more about those tools as we get started. Today I'm also really excited because I'm participating in a panel discussion for a group called EO Accelerator. Now for those that don't know, I'm in a group called EO, have been for the last few years, and uh, it's really about looking for ways to help entrepreneurs grow th their businesses. And EO Accelerator is an offshoot of that that actually takes brand new businesses that um, have anywhere between 250000 in revenue to a million in revenue and really give them those tools and skills to be able to take them to the next level. So I'm participating in a panel today down at the Commons on Champa. This is kind of their entrepreneurial center in Denver. And we're just talking about people. Um, you, you, no matter the size of the business that, that I've talked to, whether publicly traded or you know just a one or two man shop, everybody's got questions about who's the next best hire, when is the right timing to do that, what are the things that we need to do to ensure that culture is strong. And we think that we do things in a, in a particular way that really ensure both getting the best people possible as well as still ensuring that that culture stays intact. So really excited about participating today, going to have some lunch with people, network a bit, and uh, be a part of that panel. So let's go. Talk about core values. I hear you mentioned core values. I hear that like that doesn't talk you necessarily started in the head, or did you start with core values and then you grew, or did they change, or they came into existence for the first year? So I think we always had core values, um, but at the beginning, I think this is kind of true for just the company in general. At the beginning, everything that existed within the company really wasn't the company's. It was my business partner and mine. So like the company didn't really have a personality. We had a personality. Core values, yes, no, whatever. Quantitative creativity, industry innovators, process gurus, reputation gardens, and professional partner. Um, and 100% of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you can call any extension right now and everybody will give you that answer. And the thing that I like about Zenman is because the culture, I mean, we're a forever company, because the culture is so good, because it is a place that people want to work at, not just because of the, you know, the pay what they're worth, but we, we do fun work and we do great things together. Everybody calls you out. First is to serve, this sense of humility in all of us, and so you should be willing to sweep the floor if you got CEO of the title or whoever, uh, to perform, because often with us talking so much about our causes and the things we want to give back to, we get labeled as a not-for-profit. Let's be clear, this is a for-profit entity, and we can only do those things if we make money, so we got to perform. Uh, Education is kind of through and through with everything that we do. All of our services have that alignment. Uh, we want a sense of energy, so uh, the other E is energize, and that just goes to our friendliness, our, our culture, everything else, and then we end with D, uh, and D is for delight. And so I'm all about the plus ones. We can deliver well on what we agreed to do, but if we can also deliver that plus one, I know I like it when I get it, so I want to give it to. And so we feel like if we can operate at speed, we can have a high performing company. So those are our core values. Heart is actually a set of initiatives that we give to. So H is health and wellness, E is education, A is the arts. R is responsibility by faith, and T is technology. And so Hey guys, well I planned on not doing another wrap up in the car, but considering I've got an hour and eight minutes till we get home and basically traffic non-stop, I've got some time. So, just got done wrapping up over at uh, the Commons on Champa. That EO Accelerator group is really great. Um, a lot of entrepreneurs out there that are trying to get their business off the ground have just hit that first cusp of 
this thing is sustainable, how do we grow it, how do we scale it, and at the end of the day, we all kind of have our own people problems, and just looking for creative ways to create a great culture, good business, you know, make everything fair and uh, profitable for everybody, and just juggling it all is always kind of the, the plight of the entrepreneur, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Just heading home on a really gross day in Denver, but I uh, had a good time, and thanks for everyone to allow me to film a little bit, and hopefully you guys got some takeaways. If you like this sort of stuff, you know, give it a like if you don't mind, or subscribe, or ask a question, and we'll follow up with you. So, we'll see you next time.